I wanted to do an update on the process I use for heat treating carbon steel. In my opinion, the heat treatment is one of the most important parts or aspects of making a knife. Everybody with practice can learn how to grind. Um, grinds don't have to look pretty. You just need to put an edge on it. But to retain that edge, you have to have a proper heat treatment. So what I'm doing with my carbon steel blades now I use a coating, it's called, uh, it's made by Brown Owls, it's a non-scaling compound, and it's powder. And what I do is heat up the blades to 500 degrees. I actually heat them to 550 degrees. Um, pull them out of the oven, coat them with this powder. The powder actually melts onto it, almost like a glass it looks like. Um, and it keeps the carbon from burning off front on the blades. Um, something else that I'm doing, if you'll notice in the last uh, video I did with heat treating, I was using motor oil in just a coffee can. Now the problem with that is I can only do two blades and I heat treat four at a time so I usually had or I always had uh, two coffee cans sitting there because once you heat two the oil temperature rises enough where you're not going to get a proper heat treatment on blades three and four it's just not going to quench it fast enough so what I've moved to is a larger pot as you can see and I'm using canola oil it cuts down on the smoke and it cuts down on the smell and I've got two and a half gallons of oil in the pot right now so I can handle four blades very easily without changing the properties of the heat treatment and I said I set up the oven a little bit differently let's see if I can get you a shot of this and how it's set up and let me stop this take the camera off I'll be right back okay the way I've got the oven set up now is it heats up the first temperature. It's going to heat up as fast as it can to 550 degrees, and it's going to hold it for 30 minutes. That allows me to coat the blades. And then it's going to heat up to 1525 degrees and hold it there for 30 minutes. I'm not going to start that just yet because I don't have the blades in the oven yet. But what that allows me to do on the two hold times, the first one I let it soak for about 10 minutes because the oven heats up very fast to uh, 550 degrees. And I want the steel to be at that temperature, not just the sensor inside the oven. And, for the, and then the rest of the time it allows me to pull the blades out of the oven, coat them with the uh, non-scaling compound and get them back in the oven. And then the oven will heat all the way up to 1525 and complete the process as before. I'm using the same temper cycle as before, 450 degrees, hold it for two hours and uh, repeat that process. I do it twice. So let me get some blades in there and get started with the heat treating. These are the blades that I'm going to be heat treating today. They're out of a uh, different um, saw blade. One that uh, was a little bit smaller, I think it was a 30 inch blade and not quite as rusty. There's still some pitting, but it's a little bit shallower than the other ones. So let me get them in there. And get the oven started. I'll be back when it's time to put the uh, non-scaling compound on. Oven's been at temperature for a while. Just pull out a blade. Coat it with the uh, non-scale material. You can see that it actually just melts onto the blade. and then slide it back into the oven. Uh, 
Oven's been sitting at 1525 for about 10 minutes now, so time to quench the steel. Again, I'm using canola oil, much larger the container than I used before, so that the oil stays at a temperature consistent with giving me good results. The smaller container, when you heat it, you know, put two pieces in, then it's too hot. That's why I went with the larger container, and I went with the canola oil because the motor oil really stinks when it flares up. As you can see, you get very little smoke this way. You can also see that you, you do get a lot of buildup on the blade. But that is not scaling, that's the material that we put on there, so it keeps the carbon content intact. Now to remove this uh, buildup that's on there, the directions say you can just boil it in water. I'll probably just use the grinder because it's just as easy or easier than setting up something to boil in water. Here are the blades. This is actually another set. I'm doing uh, quite a few of these uh, this size. Some with a clip point, some with a drop point. But here they are after the heat treat's completed. Now to complete the heat treat cycle, you have to temper them. Remember, the heating it up to 1525, quenching it, cooling it down very fast, makes it hard, but it also makes it brittle. So tempering it at 450 degrees, um, same as you saw before in the other videos, and then just cleaning everything up afterwards. Uh, take some of that brittleness out, and I've been getting good results this way. So that's the way I'm going to continue to do it, but I'm always looking for a better way. I want to improve the heat treat. Remember, the heat treat, in my opinion, is probably the most important part of knife making. Thanks for watching.